Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, including drama that's come full circle. And it's gone from snooping quotes dogging Eminem's discography in that infamous interview to when Eminem confirmed that they are good on Killer Remix, and now that's led to more collaboration on the way. And this has sparked reactions on the internet, including in quotes agents that are now attempting to rewrite history to retcon what really happened, and we'll be exploring it all in a bit. Today we also have updates on the Kanye West and Eminem collaboration, including wild claims that have been made about the song. And before we get started, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So we'll start with the updates on Kanye West and Eminem collaboration that we've known about for over a year, and we got some new activities surrounding this collab. First, Tito reacted to Kanye's tweet from 2020. Eminem, thank you for rapping on the Dr. Dre remix of Use This Gospel. I have always loved and respected you, and I'm honored to have you bless this song. It's also Northwest's favorite Kanye West song of all time, and Tito brought this back to life again. Hey Kanye West, what's the ETA on this? And this clip sums it up again for Eminem and Kanye fans. A user reacts, this must mean something is definitely on the horizon. And more was on the way related to this song after a rapper claimed. New Kanye and Eminem dropping, it's dope, I just heard it. And this user's been flooded with reactions, as most believe the cap on this app. But some have linked Tito's post to this. Not gonna lie, doesn't seem that far-fetched, cause Tito tweeted this earlier, so possible foreshadowing. And the user also linked to a previous tip, they predicted this too. Kanye dropping in 4 hours before Donda dropped on the 29th of August. Over on Reddit, under the thread, Chicago artist with a verified account claims new Kanye and M is dropping. And while some have also referred to Tito's post, Tito's Twitter account has sent a tweet about it as well. Others believe this could be linked to clout chasing. Being verified on Twitter doesn't mean a thing. Plenty of verified people have posted so-called rumors over the years, and almost all of them have been false so far. I want to be proved wrong every single time, though. So essentially, be sure to check back in the comments section under this video if it actually drops soon. And moving on, DJ Hookie dropped this bomb a few hours ago. That new Snoop Dogg and Eminem is coming soon. Check it out. And everybody's solo song, they was the last verse of the song before they accept the one with me and Eminem. Cause I felt like that was like a big a reveal. Just hear that Eminem on that motherfucker. That's just a whole nother level. And the excitement so far is through the roof. Let's go! Two of my favorite rappers on the same beat, hashtag iconic. And some expanded. It's sad that Dre had to be hospitalized for this ish to happen, but cannot freaking wait. And it didn't take long for the retconners to use this news to stir up drama. Since Snoop announced that he and Eminem have recorded a song that will be on Snoop's debut album for Def Jam, a lot of Eminem fans that wanted to stone Snoop for not having M in his top 10 rappers of all time now back on Snoop's junk and welcoming back with open arms. And I can't believe that this false information is still spreading, when first it was never about a top 10 list and secondly, the in quotes crazy fans were right all along about Snoop's comments initially, as the so-called crazy fans actually use logic. All you had to do was watch the original clip as Eminem himself explained after side B dropped you don't have to hear it from me check this out a couple of months ago you know he was doing an interview with the breakfast club somehow my name got brought up and he was saying things about you know I'm not in his top 10 and everything he said by the way was fine like up to a point like everything was good until like hit you know it was more like I think it was more about the tone he was using that caught me off guard because I'm like yo where is this coming from I just saw you like what the f you know what I'm saying like it just it threw me for a loop put Eminem in a position where he could be labeled as one of the top 10 rappers ever I don't think so but when you talking about this hip hop that I can't live without I can live without that. It was the last bit that Snoop shared that caused the whole drama. Listen to Eminem. Again, I probably could have got past the whole tone and everything, but it was the last statement when he said, as far as music I can live without, I can live without that. Now you're just, now you're being disrespectful for, like, it just caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that. Even when Eminem fans are 100% right, it still gets twisted that they are wrong, hence that got this reaction. Not one Eminem fan gave a F about Snoop Top 10, just didn't like the disrespect thrown at M discography. Another user expands on the retcon, another one to twist reality, this is hip hop Twitter. And these clowns are running with this narrative, 
Didn't M put out a few dislikes though? Just because he didn't make it onto Snoop's Top 10, how petty and corny is that? And those laughing emojis are fitting for this level of willful ignorance on display. For some reason, this false narrative refuses to die, hence another user expands. Let's say what happened, but not what actually happened, just what I wanted to happen. People love to call Eminem fans crazy, but in this case, rap media and their minions took an L, not the fans. And it had to be said, I love that y'all try to paint it as, in quotes, Eminem stands being deranged for being bothered by Snoop's weirdo comments about M when M himself felt backstabbed too, lol. And this was why Royce the 59 got slammed at that time too, as he ran to the aid of Snoop clearly before actually watching the clip. And Eminem, just like any logical person would, found those comments surprising from an associate. Like Eminem stated on Killer Remix, it's all good, and now we have a collaboration coming, and the user expanded. To this day, I can't believe Snoop said all that ish in the Breakfast Club interview just because he didn't get his feature. We can all rest easy now, but I had to drop this. Wait, people still believe Eminem was mad at Snoop for a top 10 list? This retcon is still going around, y'all just hate Eminem, admit it, and go. I'll be looking forward to your thoughts, comment below, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.